When the mainstream press and the government says nobody could have predicted this, they're lying through their fucking teeth. Workers at Japan's crippled nuclear plant are ramping up their latest effort to contain contamination. They're pumping radioactive water out of the ground at Fukushima Daiichi to try to stop it from flowing into the ocean. Government officials say 300 tons of tainted water from the site may be running into the ocean every day. Engineers with Tokyo Electric Power Company created an underground wall to try to contain it. They used chemicals to harden the soil near the most heavily contaminated reactors number one and number two. The engineers apparently didn't plan for what happened next. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just think funny things. <laughs> the engineers apparently didn't plan for what happened next. Are you kidding me? All these Harvard know-it-alls that have no clue. Blocking the groundwater with the wall caused it to keep rising, and the water continues to flow over the top. No shit. Crews began pumping up water through a well near the wall last Friday as a makeshift countermeasure. They say the groundwater level has since fallen about 50 centimeters. The engineers are now driving about 30 pipes into the ground. The pipes are roughly 5 meters long. Company officials say the installation will be finished this Sunday. They say engineers will try to pump up 60 tons of water a day and store it at the plant. Still, they warn these measures are not a complete solution. They say contaminated water will still get past the underground wall and flow into the ocean every day. In other news, a proud species commits suicide rather than being driven to extinction by humans. Twisting in the wind and I begin to see the problems Facing lines, I'm chasing them until they start dissolving story bro tell it again government officials say 300 tons of tainted water from the site may be running into the ocean every day 
Engineers with Tokyo Electric Power Company created an underground wall to try to contain it. They used chemicals to harden the soil near the most heavily contaminated reactors number one and number two. The engineers apparently didn't plan for what happened next. Blocking the groundwater with the wall caused it to keep rising and the water continues to flow over the top. The engineers are now driving about 30 pipes into the ground. The pipes are roughly five meters long. Company officials say the installation will be finished this Sunday. They say engineers will try to pump up 60 tons of water a day and store it at the plant. Still, they warn these measures are not a complete solution. They say contaminated water will still get past the underground wall and flow into the ocean every day. Serenity now! Serenity now! <laughs> what is that? Doctor gave me a relaxation cassette. When my blood pressure gets too high, the man on the tape tells me to say, Serenity now!